let's take a look at product cards. To do that, we'll head back into the items page and the product tab is automatically referenced by default. So on the product screen, everything is more or less the same um, with respect to how it looks on the materials tab. But the difference is, is on the products tab, we have the name of the variants here, the variant code and categories, which are all the same, but then we have a multitude of different information off here to the right. Now products, by the very nature in Katana, are items that you manufacture and sell because Katana is a manufacturing software. So what we're looking at here is a, a default sales price for your products, a cost of those products, the profit on them, the margin that you make on the products, as well as the production time to make them. So it's a little bit of insight about your products in general, and that's quite handy when it comes to perhaps taking a look at your margins and having an understanding of how much something costs to make and how much money you'll make on it. And if you have target margins that are in the 57% range and you've got some of them lagging behind in the 37% range, then you might need to make decisions in your business about your bottom line, either raise your prices or get your costs under control. So having that element in front of you uh, can help you make better decisions as a business owner. And uh, also on this screen, um, you have the same bulk options like we had on the materials tab. You bulk select something, but there's a few extra options too. So now that we're getting into products, we're dealing with things that are slightly more complicated. And uh, as a manufacturer, you very well know that making a product consists of two things. You take a material or a component, and then you have a recipe or a bill of materials, which is the combination of how many of these materials at what quantities are going to make a product. And then you have the processes that convert the raw material going through the process and out into a product. So for products in Katana, you have to define not just the product and its variants like you would with a material, but you have to define the uh, uh, bill of materials, which is what components go inside of it and how much, and also the operation processes that it has to go through in order to become a product that's been manufactured. So when we get to the point of actually creating recipes and operations for our products, you have the option to export them directly from the item screen. We also have the ability to delete the recipes and operations or items themselves from this screen as well, uh, if that case is needed.